coming up in this read. The clouds of uncertainty are definitely clearing. Things for you is going to start getting a lot easier. And you're genuinely going to feel like you have accomplished something here, Capricorn. Capricorn, we're doing a general reading for May 2023. Everything that you need to know you can find in my descriptions box and in my pinned comment below, including a list of the card decks that I've used for your reading. Please do keep in mind the roles can be reversed, especially if you're cross-watching. And if a part of the message doesn't resonate for you, please leave that bit of the message for someone else, because these readings are not going to resonate for absolutely everybody, okay? You definitely need to keep an open mind when you're watching general public readings. And also these reads, they tend to be a bit predictive by nature, okay? So they might not even resonate for you straight away. So definitely keep an open mind. They might resonate with you before the month of May closes out, okay? Right, so Capricorn, what is coming in towards you guys? House, okay? Relocation and home with the house energy. So you're moving home for some of you. Uh, you could be looking into it right now. You could be on the verge of looking into it. Um, now, for, for a tiny handful of you, I'm getting a reason behind this. And again, the reason is not going to resonate for everybody, okay? Someone's saying that they don't feel like their house is their home anymore. It feels tainted. It feels tarnished by someone else and someone else's really shitty behavior, really crappy decisions. Like it, it, it's like your home. It stopped feeling like your castle. It no longer feels like you belong. But again, that's because of bad memories, bad experiences all down to someone else's behavior uh, it's really really sad and any anyone who's been through that in the past can definitely sympathize with you for that do you know what i mean i mean you could have the most beautiful home ever and it only takes one one asshole to make that home feel really dirty and unwelcoming and just just tainted um, so, yeah, anyone who's been through that Capricorn will absolutely sympathize with you. Um, ultimately, you're looking for a new castle and is there's every indication that you're going to find this this new home, um, a place where you can really feel grounded, safe and secure. I mean, you're a Capricorn, so your home and your family is absolutely everything to you. Like it, it's literally your home is the world. Family is your home. And and for some of you as well, like your your friends, you know, some friends they feel like home. Um, home is where the heart is. You know what they say. So with this one, you will be finding the right home. Okay, and. For a small handful of you, this could even be like focusing on home renovations as well, beautifying your home. Um, says the 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 vibe feels new, fresh, different. Okay, it's all about your sense of security, right? Now, again, for some of you, not all of you, this can illustrate success in business. Okay. Right, so we'll find out more as we pull more cards. Again, you do need to be patient with Tarot, right? You're not going to get all of the information within the first two minutes. It doesn't work that way. Um, so we're getting the surface level energy first, and then we're going to clarify over the top of everything. Okay, so we're going to end up with like three or four rows of Tarot underneath all of these, so we can get really informative messages. Right, the triangle. This is a difficult energy, okay? It's all about choices and indecision. Now, you could be... Um, I want to say you could be struggling to make a decision. That's going to be unusual for you, Capricorn. But here's the thing. Once you have made up your mind about something, that's it then. For you, it's basically set in stone and nothing's going to stop you from that point on. But it's getting to that point of you making that decision first and foremost. 
Um, also, with this one, I do need to insert a footnote here. It is okay for you to change your mind, okay? Um, you have to change your mind according to the new information that comes in, all right? Um, it's, it's, I, see, I, I don't want to be um, insulting, but like literally it's only idiots that don't change their mind when they're presented with new information. Um, because, you know, that's, that's being stubborn unnecessarily, okay? So it's okay for you to change your mind. But this is certainly indicating that at the moment, Capricorn, you are at a bit of a crossroads, okay? And it could be you're at a crossroads when it pertains to your house. Uh, for some of you, you could be figuring out, well, where is it I'm going to live? You know, it's time for a change. For others of you, a small handful of you, circumstances have happened where you feel that, that you have to start moving but you're definitely at some kind of crossroads okay so ultimately a decision does need to be made okay it's all or nothing when I, whenever you see the triangle it's literally all or nothing um being indecisive is going to work against you at this point in time okay now if you know that that's not your energy capricorn then that's someone else that you're dealing with who is going through this okay so again the energy the energy can be fluid right what else the snake desire and attraction sagittarius just had this one out you could be dealing with the sagittarius or you could have Sagittarian placements in your own chart. I'm getting Sagittarius Venus placements. Um, so your desires, your attractions, what is it that you're attracted to? Are you finding yourself in a cycle of being attracted to um, toxic people? <laughs> you know, if so, then this is uh, this would be a cycle that you're needing to break for certain right um this can also indicate as well capricorn that somebody is attracted to you and that could be in a sexual or in a physical manner okay um whenever you're dealing with someone who has got this sort of snake-like energy it it can be difficult to know what their intent is what are their motives okay so be mindful of anybody where <clears throat> you're you're not able to figure out what their intents or motives are right um this at the bottom of this deck the wheel endings and beginnings taking the driver's seat of your life I do apologize for the sudden cuts in sound, by the way, Capricorn. It's uh, my throat is really, really itchy for your reading. So I keep having to turn off the sound so I can have a bit of a cough and take a bit of a drink. OK, um, <clears throat> now I feel that that could well be tied into your energy as well, Capricorn. It could be indicating, like, somebody is not giving you the full truth of a situation, so you're needing to uh, dig deep, look beyond the obvious. Uh, some, like, someone's withholding some kind of information, okay? Now, back to this wheel. End in a cycle. Which is funny because I was literally explaining about this cycle of what is it that, that you're attracted to, okay? And, and the need to end that particular cycle. And the wheel literally means ending a cycle. It's endings and brand new beginnings, okay? It's you finishing up on old projects so that you can begin brand new ones. Now, this can mean um, the end of a relationship or the end of a job. So that you can pick up something brand new and something that is more in alignment with who you are, okay? Um, if you're currently single and you've been single for a long time, then it tells you that, that you being single is what's coming to an end, okay? Um, relationships going up to the next level. All relationships, not just romantic. This is a change of fortune, a change of inheritance, and things moving in the right direction. Now, for a long while, a lot of you have felt like the wheel of your cart 
had fallen off. Okay? So we're seeing that you're putting that wheel back on, metaphorically. You're, you're putting the wheel back on your cart, you're getting back on your horse, and it's forward movement. Okay, so that was just the surface level energy. Now we're going to take a deeper dive into this and see if we can get some uh, specifics and see what else comes out as well. Okay, what's going on for our High Vibe Capricorn Collective, please? High Vibe Capricorns, can you clarify this house energy, please, for Capricorns? The Eight of Swords, okay, Gemini energy, yeah, thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, literally a mental prison, okay. Uh, of course, yes, you do need to think about this because it would be daft not to think something through before taking or making such a life-changing decision. You absolutely do need to think it through. It's, it's sensible. Do you know what I mean? Like, you, you can't just randomly pick up everything and, and leave and, you know, start again someplace else. It does take a certain amount of thought and a certain amount of planning, okay? Be aware, Capricorn, of any negative thoughts that you might have at this point in time, all right? Uh, now is not the time for you to be uh, self-punishing or anything like that. Okay, any sort of self-imposed restrictions also, they're needing to be addressed. Okay, this is, this can indicate imprisonment from within. Um, I wouldn't like to think it's an actual imprisonment, but then again, you never know. You never know. Keep an open mind. This is a general read. There could be a cross watcher here that is going through a difficult time with a Capricorn and that Capricorn is currently in jail. You never know. Keep an open mind. Any sort of, um, I want to say, low confidence issues, any sort of low self-esteem issues, if you're stuck in your head, which is the literal meaning of the Eight of Swords, it's definitely going to be time for you to assess your situation and, and why you're stuck in your head, okay? Um, keep the focus on your goals. Any kind of fears that you might have, well, they're going to be preventing you from that forward momentum, okay? So be really, really mindful of your thoughts at this point in time, Capricorn, okay? Are your thoughts beneficial? All right, are they, are they being beneficial to your cause or are you overthinking a situation? Are you winding yourself up to the point where you're becoming afraid to, to make that movement? Okay, what's it they say? Fear is the mind killer, yeah? If you allow your fear to dictate where you're going in life, you're never going to take a chance or a risk on anything. And do you not think that you're worth taking that chance on? Clarify triangle, please, for Capricorn. Clarify the triangle. What is this indecision all about, please? Yeah, ten of swords. It's difficult energies, Capricorn, okay? I'm not going to lie. You've not got it easy right now. But by the same token, you're not exactly wasting time by feeling sorry for yourself either. Okay. Your Ten of Swords, that's a collapse, okay? It's an inevitable ending. It could, it could be someone's backstabbed you. It could be maybe you backstabbed someone, depending on how it resonates, okay? Um... I'm feeling verbal attacks, painful endings, someone who's got very, very deep, deep wounds. Maybe you made plans in the recent past and they were all ruined. Ruined perhaps by someone else backstabbing you. Some, some kind of betrayal with your ten of swords, okay? 
It's about being in crisis, going through a loss, some kind of failure, feeling defeated also. This is a reminder that this is about as bad as it gets, okay? It's not going to get any worse from this point on, Capricorn, because you've already been through the worst that this energy has to offer, okay? So from this point onwards, it's you, you can only go up from this point onwards, okay? Now, <clears throat> something has gone backwards ever so slightly, right? Something about your progression. But here's the thing. That thing that, that took a couple of steps back the way, it's almost saying like it, it wasn't going to work out anyway. It had to fail so that you could reach that rock bottom and then begin to climb yourself out of the, the crap that you found yourself in. Do you know what I mean? But again, we're going to clarify all of this, okay? This is, again, it's just surface level stuff at the moment. What's going on with the snake? The Capricorn, please. What's going on with the snake for our Capricorn? Quite a lot. Eight of coins, the nine of swords, a seven of coins, a page of wands, and an eight of cups. Yeah, it's, it's time for you to call it quits on something. All right. So this toxic cycle, it pertains to, I, I feel, you trying in vain to make something work when it wasn't working. Um, some of you have got <sighs> Taurus in your chart. Um, because I'm getting that sense of a very stubborn Capricorn who doesn't know when to quit because they, they don't like to quit even though they know feel well that something's not working. <laughs> Okay, that that's the energy I'm picking up on. So if if you don't, even if you don't have any tortoise placements in your chart, I'm still getting that really sort of heavy, stubborn. No, god damn it, I'm gonna make this work. Um, type person that, that's coming through. It, it it's time. Okay, Capricorn, it, it's time. It's time to release something. It's time to let something go, definitely. Um, because from what I can see in this energy, the only person that it's hurting is yourself. Have you ever seen that meme online where it's uh, it just shows you two hands and a rope in between them and they're, they're literally playing tug of war? One of them has got like saws and bits of blood. There's certain words I'm not allowed to say on YouTube. <laughs> on his hands and then the other side is like just release and is basically saying look oftentimes we we hurt ourselves more by holding on to the things that, that we should have let go of or released a long time ago okay that's this energy here all right capricorn um you stubbornly <laughs> and to be fair i i i do sit back and admire how stubborn Capricorns can be sometimes. Um, in this case, though, release that stubbornness, okay? Because you, you're trying to make something work that is, is just not working. And it, it's just causing you more anguish in the long term, okay? Eight of coins, nine of swords, seven of coins, page of wands. It's time to invest in something new. Eight of Cups, the Lord of Abandoned Success. Okay, just in case anyone's like, oh, where's she getting that from? You know, because I, I do tend to have a lot of people that really d enjoy trying to tell me how to read my own damn cards. Uh, so there we go. Each to their own, though, eh? Right. Let's take a look at that wheel. What's going on with this wheel, please, Capricorn? Thank you. The Two of Coins. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's time for you to find that balance, okay? Uh, you're definitely trying to multitask at this point in time. You, you need to find your feet. You need to, you need to find something that makes you feel stable and secure within yourself, okay? That can also indicate you feeling, I want to say, overwhelmed. 
at the moment because you're multitasking. Um, it, it can be, oh, I, I, I want to say, some kind of change pertaining to your physical and material world that is eventually going to balance out, okay? So you, you might feel a bit unsteady off your feet for a couple of weeks, but listen, it's the two of coins. So you're going you're gonna to find your feet again soon enough. You will settle down into a new routine, okay? This is also about finding that uh, beautiful work-life balance, all right? Getting a message about adaptability. Lean into your ability to be adaptable. Lean into your ability to be able to think quickly on your feet and to take quick, decisive action, like literally. It's, look, it's your sign. It's the mountain goat. They're literally... <laughs> I'm getting a song. Um, I'm not going to sing it, though. I'm, I'm just going to say the words. There ain't no mountain high enough. <laughs> that, that's what's coming through. So it doesn't matter the size of the metaphorical mountain for you, Capricorn. You're going to climb that fucker. Okay. <laughs> You, you are going to reach to the top eventually. And that is the point where you're needing to lean into your stubbornness. All right. So don't be stubborn trying to make something work that's not working. Be stubborn when you're climbing up that metaphorical mountain. That That's when to use your stubbornness. So th that's what I'm saying. It's like th there is no single uh, bad character trait. Okay. It's all about how and when you use these character traits that, that you have. It's always about the balance. At the bottom of the deck, you've got death, change, transformation, liberation. So you've got Gemini, Taurus, Sagittarius, Pisces, Capricorn, uh, Virgo and Scorpio. OK, now they could easily be placements in your own chart. But the main message here, Capricorn, is you're going through this death and rebirth process. For certain. For certain. This is a death and a rebirth process. Right, let's see if we can get... Um, deeper messages to this and tell us more for our Capricorn Collective please Capricorn Collective for the month of May <clears throat> 2023 I nearly said 2021 what happened in 2021 for you Capricorn because it's significant to what you're going through right now. The clouds. Confusion. Uncertainty. Change. Feeling that loss of direction. You going through a difficult transitional time. This can also indicate hidden secrets and you feeling doubt you feeling doubt and it's to clarify the eight of swords with your house energy so you're being told don't lose hope capricorn okay yes things are not looking great right now granted but there is actually hope because those clouds are clearing. If you look at it again, the clouds are clearing. You've got daylight breaking through. You can see the birds in flight, which is symbolic for you taking flight. It's symbolic for your freedom. The clouds are clearing. The, the difficult... Um, I want to say the 
restrictions and the frustrations and what feels like lack of opportunity so that there could be a lack of houses on the market. That's clearing away. It feels like you're about to open up something here. But we'll see. Because we, we still need to get another deck out over the top of all of this, okay? Clarify the triangle and the ten of swords for Capricorn. Yeah, see, there you go. There's your sun. There's your sun there. Breaking through the clouds. The clouds clear, clearing away. Your sun coming through. Mm-hmm. Main female, you could be the main female, you could be dealing with a main female. Um, there, there could be somebody very, very intuitive around you, or you could be this very, very intuitive, gentle natured individual that is helping someone to see the truth, helping someone to see the light, something like that. You're seeing the light through uh, someone else's help. Take it as it resonates and then you've got the journey. It, it's literally what it says on the tin, the journey. It's kind of like the chariot energy. Forward movement, forward momentum. It could be a physical journey. It could be a metaphorical journey. I'm feeling both. I'm feeling this is both for you. It, it almost feels like a tsunami is passing through your life at the moment, Capricorn. And it's getting rid of everything that, that you held on to for way, way, way too long. And then by the time that tsunami's passed through, you were like, wow, I've got clear roads now all over the show. I can go in any direction now. So it feels disastrous while this metaphorical tsunami is passing through. But once, as I say, once the dust is settled, you, you're gonna you're gonna see the situation then for exactly what it is. Hmm. Clarify the snake with the eight of cups, the seven of coins, the page of wands, the eight of coins and the nine of swords, please, for Capricorn. Yeah, the tree, your roots. It's all about having strong roots, okay? It can be about your past and it can indicate uh, your, your growth up until this point as well. You being grounded. OK, it can also indicate um, your spirituality, your, your strong faith, your strong belief. And then, of course, you've got this rainbow, which is the promise of a new day. You can't have the rainbow without the rain, right? Currently, you, you're in the rain. That rainbow is coming. So there, there's a breakthrough, specifically when it pertains to you feeling grounded, safe, rooted and secure. Okay, so that's like new home, new job, new partner for some of you, whatever it is that makes you feel safe, secure, and grounded and stable. That's what's coming through for you. Because because you did that release, release and surrender. Some of you are breaking. Um, because that can be about where you've come from, your past and your roots. Some of you are breaking generational um, curses, generational trauma also. Some, some of you are like that, yeah, I'm not letting my past define my future. You can clarify the wheel with the two of coins. The Capricorn, please. The gentleman, the masculine, the masculine principle of the energies. The gentleman, very analytical, um, making wise decisions, utilizing your knowledge. For some of you, this is indicating a new love interest. And for others of you, you are 
the love interest for someone else. Okay, take it as it resonates. Um, I'm getting like a strong silent type here. Someone is the strong silent type. I'm feeling Capricorn that this is indicating that you're taking back control in your life because for a while it felt like it was out of control for quite a while. So now, do you remember when I says that, that you're getting back in the driver's seat of your life? That's that's why I think that's coming out is the, the masculine principle because that, that can also be force and control uh, as well as strategizing. You've got courthouse at the bottom of the deck. So you're making that decision. You're making that decision. And it's a serious decision as well because it's courthouse. Um, for some of you, this could be literally a courthouse. You could be taking someone to court. And then you've got privileged lady under there. Yeah, that can be someone who's very, very financially well off. So if if you're due some kind of payment, Capricorn, you're going to be receiving it, especially if you're identifying as being in your feminine energy. Okay. Tell us more for Capricorn. What's going on with the house, the clouds, and the Eight of Swords? For our high vibe Capricorn collective, please. Okay. The Six of Water. That's the Six of Cups. Nostalgia. Childhood. Memories tied in with the house. There's memories tied in with the house. And I feel, because when you look at the context of this, Eight of Swords with the Clouds, there's tainted memories here. With a house. I don't know what that's about, Capricorn, but it feels serious. The Queen of Fire, so that's the Queen of Wands, is to clarify your triangle and all this energy here. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm also getting someone saying that your energy is very familiar, Capricorn. Or you're saying that someone else's energy is very familiar to you. Is that, that there's a recognition here. That there's an attraction towards what it is that feels familiar. And it could well be for some of you what felt familiar to you was dangerous, toxic. So the next time a person feels like home, ask yourself, well, what? What was my home life actually like? What was my background like? Okay. If, if you're one of the lucky ones where you came from a good background and a good home and then someone feels like home to you, that's going to be a good thing. Okay. Um, by the by, we do have a very strong attraction here with this Queen of Fire energy. It's very, very magnetic. And so we see a situation where it's likely someone's moving towards you or you're moving towards someone where there's this mutual attraction. So we've got a soul connection that's creeping into your energy here, Capricorn. Clarify. The snake, the tree, the eight of cups, page of wands, seven of coins, eight of coins. And the Nine of Swords, the Emperor, Aries energy, the Emperor, the Divine Masculine Principle, mm -hmm. taking charge, 
making the decisions, making those necessary decisions. This is someone who doesn't pull any punches, Capricorn. Okay. You're tapping into your ambition with this Emperor energy. You're taking, you're taking on the authority. You're feeling very, very motivated. You're being very rational as well. Now, that this can be a boss, it can be a teacher, it can be a manager, or someone who is just taking on this boss-like energy, okay? This also indicates financial stability here, Capricorn, which I feel that that might have been one of the main things that, that you were really, really concerned about, your own financial stability and security. And that's what you're working towards with this Emperor energy. Again, don't focus on the gender. It's not about the gender. Okay. This indicates that you're making amazing progress. Okay. So whatever this is that's going on in your energy, Capricorn. And of course, I don't know exactly what it is. All right. I haven't a clue. Every, everyone's story is going to be different. Be rest assured that you're making amazing progress and that this all hasn't just been in vain. Okay. Clarify the wheel, the gentleman and the two of coins. Capcom, please. The knight of air. Yeah, it's the knight of swords. Speed. Very, very fast. Uh, very, very determined also. You're determined to succeed. And then we've got that side message about the, the soul mate connection that, that keeps creeping into your read, how they are determined to succeed with, with giving you some kind of romantic offering. They're determined to help you out somehow also. So with, with your um, hidden enemy energy, the hidden enemy is actually within for, for your read. Because uh, everyone's theme has been about like hidden enemies and they've all been different, different reasons, some real, some imagined. Yours is the secret hidden enemy within. So you don't want to be your own worst enemy, which is the energy that we saw playing out under there, yeah? With the Knight of Swords, that's your ability to take fearless action towards your goals, okay? It is also saying, Capricorn, you're going to need to start moving, and you're going to need to start moving quickly. All right? Think on your feet. And that it's okay once in a while to be impulsive. But it's under there, the Five of Air. It's the Five of Swords. That could be you leaving suddenly. It could be someone being insensitive towards you. Conflict, disagreements. This can indicate someone being in competition with you. You feeling defeated. But then guess what? Because it's the Five of Swords, it's also you coming out on top. Look, look at the illustration on the card. It's like someone's going checkmate, right? This is you getting success after your obstacles. And you see the clouds in the background. Now, what was that I told you about the clouds clearing? And some of you might have felt like you were being patronized when I said that. No, it's an actual message. The clouds of uncertainty are definitely clearing. Things for you is going to start getting a lot easier. And you're genuinely going to feel like you have accomplished something here, Capricorn. Well, <laughs> Anci uh, Awakening Ancient Wisdom that initially came out in reverse. So it says, deep inner knowing is emerging within you. So it came out in reverse because you've been fighting against something that is deep-rooted inside of you, Capricorn. 
It's deep rooted inside of you, and you, you've been pushing it away. You've been ignoring it, that ancient wisdom within you. Not all of you, of course, just some of you. And then embracing the future. I step into the future with an open heart. Yeah, exactly. Look at that open doorway. But here's the thing as well. That there, there's no fences, that there's no gates. I mean, he, he didn't even need to wait for that door to open. He could have just cut across the grass. Do you know what I mean? He could have just cut across the grass. So that's, that's like saying you were stopping yourself somehow What else, please, for Capricorn? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. What else for Capricorn? Bast, independent. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. Mm hmm Yeah. You value your independence. You don't like anybody telling you what to do. Which is fair enough. But sometimes you still are going to need a helping hand. And it doesn't mean to say that you're not independent because you need a helping hand. Okay. And then you've got your mania. Golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Yeah. Just walk through them. It's the same message as that one there. What else, please, for Capricorn? Change tracks. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Change tracks. Because there's something that you were holding on to underneath there that needs you to release it. Keep your commitments. So you're torn. You made prior commitments and you don't want to feel like you, you're letting other people down. And so you'd rather grin and bear it and try and make something work that isn't working and hasn't worked for a long time. But it's saying, change your tracks. What about the commitment that you made to yourself? Okay. Don't forget the commitment that you made to yourself. Interesting read, but that is what I have for you, Capricorn. It's up to you what you do this reading. Please remember that tarot is not a scapegoat. It is not a crutch. It's a guide. It is also not your reader's fault, whatever comes out of the read. You're the one that's in charge of your destiny. If you feel that you could benefit from a personal reading that is catered more towards your own specific needs, then you can place your booking at phoenixkiatarot.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.